A lot of people are confused about the different versions of OneNote that are currently available. In this video, I'll help you figure out which version of OneNote you're using and which version I recommend. OneNote is available for Windows, Mac, the web, iPhone, iPad, and Android, but the confusion mainly comes from Windows users since there are several active versions in use today. First, we have OneNote for Windows 10. This is the version that comes pre-installed with your Windows 10 OS and looks something like this. First, you see the obvious label on the title bar. The other distinguishing element is that there are only five menu tabs in Windows 10. What's notably missing is the file tab. And your notebook sections and your note pages are showing on the left side of the screen. Second, we have the OneNote for desktop, or now simply called OneNote. This comes as part of your Microsoft 365 account and is installed alongside your other Office apps such as Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. And depending on when you updated the app last, it could look very different. This example is from my Windows 10 PC, and the OneNote app is a little dated. Here, the application name simply reads OneNote next to the page name. And we have a total of eight file tabs, which is three more than what we saw in Windows 10. In the File tab, you can go to the Account section to see if you're running the latest version of OneNote. Since I have an enterprise version of Microsoft 365, the updates are managed by the system admin. But I can still see which version I'm currently running. And if I go to the Options section, I can see a bunch of options that I can choose to set my preferences. The History tab allows me to pull older versions of my notes and retrieve deleted note pages. And the Review tab gives me options for things like translating my notes and setting password to a note section. These are not the only differences between OneNote for Windows 10 and OneNote for Desktop, but you can appreciate that the desktop version has more to offer. Now, what makes this whole thing even more confusing is the fact that more recently, Microsoft has introduced a unified version, which is sort of like a desktop app at the core, but looks like the Windows 10 version in design with its refreshed visual interface. It even lets you dock your page list to the left of the screen, just like the Windows 10 version. I really like the modern look and feel of this updated version and the fact that it still has all of the rich features of the desktop version. If you have this latest OneNote app, but it doesn't quite look the same, you can try going to this announcement icon and toggle on the visual refresh preview. You will need to restart the app for the change to go into effect. And this is pretty much the only version you can get now. It can either be downloaded as part of your Microsoft 365 subscription or you can grab it free from your Microsoft Store as a standalone version. You're no longer able to download the Windows 10 version, and that's for a good reason since the OneNote for Windows 10 won't be supported after October 2025. So unless you have a compelling reason to stay with the Windows 10 version of OneNote or the older desktop version, I highly recommend that you download and start using the Refresh OneNote app. All my future tutorials on OneNote will be based on this new version. Well, I hope you found this short video helpful. If you're interested in learning more about using OneNote, click on one of these videos next.